what's going on youtubers pumpy man here uh just doing another little video like i usually do <clears throat> and today we got an unboxing um it is kind of open and <laughs> a little bit it's not completely open but this is actually uh i really don't know exactly what is in the box i'm just i kind of know but not really um and i'll tell you the story i was actually sitting probably a couple weeks ago i was sitting in the front room watching tv and I, I watch a lot of hunting, and I watch a lot on the cooking channel. That's my two favorite <laughs> channels that I watch, just because it's outdoor stuff, and I love cooking, as you can tell. But uh, anyway, i seen a company come across on one of the commercials. I was watching a deer hunting uh, episode, and uh, one dude came on with like an infomercial type thing, and he had this new sling, and I, I thought that was pretty cool, but that's not what this is about. And the next commercial was... Uh, um, from a company called Cutmaster. They're actually a part of Utica um, Cutlery Company. And I did some research and Utica Cutler, Cutlery Company has been around since like 1900, 1910 or something like that. <clears throat> but Cutmaster is just a just like a branch off of them. They're owned by them and all that. And I contacted them because on the commercial they had a limb saw for like bow hunters and people that or out in the woods and stuff like that. <clears throat> just to cut down a little folding limb saw that you can cut down limbs or trees and stuff, little trees with. I thought that was pretty cool. So I got on my tablet and emailed them and wanted to ask them some questions about it uh, and talk to them about it. And <clears throat> the next morning, they emailed me back and said, Hey, uh, we're sorry to inform you. We do not make that saw anymore. Um, and I was like, Well, I just watched the commercial. Or whatever, like, last night. So anyway, they said, we don't actually produce that saw anymore. Um, but, and they they sent me this email and said, but, we just came out with a brand new line of, uh, like, survival type knives. And we would like to send one out to you and uh, see you review it on your YouTube channel. Because there's no videos on YouTube of it. <clears throat> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was down for that for sure. And I'm, I'm just telling you guys exactly how it went down. And uh, I actually started opening up this box. I did a little video earlier. But when I turned it around, it has my name in big, huge letters on the box. So uh, I had to redo this video. And that's why it's kind of opened already. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I said, sure, I would do that. I love doing reviews and unboxings on my channel. I do that a lot. And I, I just love to do it. And I was I'd be happy and glad to do that for you guys. And they said, cool, um, send us your info and we'll send one out. I don't really know what's in this box for sure, 100%. It is open, but I have not opened it completely. As you can see, um, like I said, on the other side of the box and stuff, it has my huge letters and my information. That's why I had to redo this video. But uh, anyway, they said they'd send me one out. And I looked all over the internet and I found a lot of information on Cutmaster with a K. That's how their company spelled and Utica Cutlery, Cutlery Company, and uh, I guess if this is what they sent me, this knife was just released back in January to the public um, at the SHOT Show 2017, so that's pretty freaking cool, <laughs> and I haven't I haven't even seen it, so we'll go ahead and unbox it here and uh, show you guys what is technically in it, because I don't know 100% for sure what is in it. Um, hopefully there's nothing on this side. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you guys are going to see what I'm going to see. Um, package pretty good here. Wow. Um, we'll go ahead and show you this. They sent, um, this is from Utica Cutlery Company. Um, Utica Cutlery Co. I gotta take that off because it's got my information on it. Um, but this is actually the guy I talked to, um, Michael Matthews. Uh, this is who I was emailing backwards and forth. And uh, there you go. They sent me this magazine to go along with it. This is a lot of their products from Utica. And uh, as you can see right here by my finger, the Cutmaster. That's how I actually found out about this company was watching uh, Crush. <laughs> you see these guys right here, Crush. Uh, Tiffany and I can't remember his name but obviously I remember her name <laughs> but they do a lot of hunting bow hunting I'm really into watching bow hunting stuff like that and that's how I found out about them but uh, 
we'll go ahead and get this out and like I said this is the box it came in Utica Cutlery Co I was reading a little back there and um, we'll go ahead and unbox it and let you guys see it just like I'm gonna see it because I have not seen it yet and it is that is freaking sick Wow, it's got a little piece of paper in there, but I'll grab that in a second. Whoa, it is their survival knife, and this is the one they released just in January at the, uh, wow, dude, that is freaking sick. Uh, they just released this at SHOT Show 2017, and like I said, there is no videos of this knife on YouTube except for the one they did, their company did at uh, SHOT Show. See a little uh, pressure valve there, and uh, it's got this Kydex. Kydex, I can tell you right now, it is a little loose, but oh well. Uh, the cool part about it, we'll go ahead and... Wow. That is friggin' sick. This is their survival knife, bushcraft type knife. Um, got a little jimping on the back here. Um, they said this is uh, <clears throat> the micarta... This is some kind of gray, weird micarta bolsters up here. And this is called, um, what was this called? It's some kind of weird micarta, but it was like Teflon or something micarta um, for the covers back here. Nice lanyard hole. Um, that can do some damage back there, but that knife is freaking sick. That is cool as heck. <clears throat> and the cool part about it, um, show off the sheath a little bit. It does have your... Uh, I think that's just an inch uh, metal clip. But in the sheath itself, they wanted to provide that. If you can see that, as a knife sharpener in, built into the sheath. That is freaking cool. Um, the blade is 1095 high carbon steel, which is a <laughs> super good grade of knives. Um, and this knife has some bolt to it now. I mean, it's not light at all. It's a pretty solid freaking knife. You can see uh like i said 1095 high carbon steel and the blade itself all the way through the whole tang from the front to back has been uh it's some kind of weird uh powder coating that they do and they bake it on there and pretty much coat the whole entire knife um the only downfall that i can see which is not even a downfall at all but if i was going to use this for uh striking uh, ferro rods with that powder coat pretty much not going to happen unless you scrape that off and I'm not going to do that but uh wow dude <laughs> we'll go ahead and set this knife down for a second and show you this part of it um and actually this comes with it too it's a little uh wow this is their uh ferro rod sorry I was just getting excited I don't know what this is honestly it's got a this cap unscrews from the end of it. Oh, that duh. That right there, the little teeth, the cap unscrews, and I'm pretty sure that's a scraper for the ferro rod. I'm not going to do it, but it screws on there. Um, wow. <laughs> like I said, you guys are seeing this for the first time. Uh, I don't know that much about it because there's nothing on the internet about this knife. Really, honestly. Uh, I really just do not know. And you can see the scraper inside there. Um, the sheath. I don't know. I think this is some kind of... I don't know if this is Kydex or not, honestly. Um, but you got your grommets here and stuff. Um, belt clip on the back. And a little lanyard type thing here on the bottom. Um, yeah. And your uh, cross cut knife sharpener built in. That is freaking cool, man. And uh, if you guys get a chance or want to check them out, um, like I said, they, the company that I contacted was actually Cutmaster, but they're actually, I guess, owned or ran through uh, the Utica Cutlery Company. And. Like I said, I did check up on those guys, and they've been around since the early 1900s. So, like, 1900, 1910 is when they first started. And they've been making knives and knives and knives and knives for years. But they just recently got into uh, making, like, sport-type stuff. Like, well, like this. Like the... 
gosh, man, I cannot believe that. That knife. Ah, uh, you gotta love that too. Hopefully that's showing up. Utica. Made in the USA. This is their four inch model. Um, I think it said it was nine. From what I was looking on that, whatever, I think it's 9.5 inches complete overall length on the blade is four inches. Wow. We'll go ahead and grab a piece of paper here. Hope there's nothing on that. Show the paper test on it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, sharp enough for me anyway. And the knife, I mean, this thing's got some pretty good heft. I, I would easily say I would, I would gladly go out and baton some wood and stuff with this and not be afraid of it at all. Um, it's got some jimping down here on the handle here. The handle feels really good, honestly. I don't, I wish I could remember what they said that was. Like, I think they said Teflon, but I don't know. Um, but then the gray bolster front up here. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully that's all showing up. I hope to God it is and you guys can see it. Um, I'll definitely be putting a different lanyard type uh, paracord lanyard down here on the bottom. But man, that knife is solid. I mean, it's got some heft to it. I wouldn't be afraid to abuse this knife at all. And with the jimping on the back, I mean, you can get some real good grip on this knife, believe it or not. But uh, one other thing I did not look at. I want to see what this is. Yo, guys, I'm back. The battery went dead on my GoPro Hero there. I had to charge it up and then come back and do this. But I was actually wrong on a couple things on this knife. Um, but not too wrong. This is not Kydex. This is actually, they say this is micarta sheath. Um, the stuff here and the handles on this knife do a little close-up view on the blade and the handles is uh, they say this back part is black canvas micarta and the front it's micarta too but it's been CNC machined with these grooves um, for your fingers and for your thumb that it's pretty aggressive I mean uh, you're not gonna slip off of there uh, some pretty good gripping and like I said they make three versions of the knife um, they make the the, this is the four with a four inch blade. It's 9.6 inches overall length um, They make the five which is a five inch blade and it's 10.6 inches overall length and they make a, a B6 which is a, a Bowie and it's 12.8 inches overall length um, Pretty solid freaking knife looking honestly, but uh, I like this one right here. It's t so freaking solid uh, The MSRP on this knife 115 bucks um, But you're gonna see that come down a little bit I'm pretty sure once it starts hitting the market and uh, getting out there for people to actually pick it up and different places selling it but honestly you guys are watching the first um, video and unboxing and like close-up review of this knife that there is on YouTube there's only one other video of this knife at all on YouTube and that's at SHOT Show 2017 a dude goes up and sits down at the or sits at the booth and talks to him and they do a little review of the knife so uh um, just give you guys some uh, shots and they do this powder coating this powder coating is uh they don't say any detail about what it is but they do it because um, for two reasons high carbon steel uh, it rusts really easy and that stops it it's to help prevent that and it looks cool <laughs> but anyway that's it and that's a close-up uh, view of the knife and uh, like I said I hope you guys like it and uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll leave a link to their website, Cutmaster and uh, Utica Cutlery Company. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description of this video. You guys can go check them out because they got some pretty cool knives. I was just looking at one of their Hawkbill knives. Um, the, I have a few of them. My grandpa used to have them. I love those knives. And they're hard to find companies that make them, and they make them. So I might be ordering one of those. So anyway, that's it. Guys, go check them out. And let me know what you think about this uh, their new Survival Series knife.